Hey guys, this is Slyman. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the Celestron 1.25 inch eyepiece kit. This is a pretty popular eyepiece kit. A lot of uh, people that are just starting out in astronomy will buy this kit. Um, I've had mine for over four years, so I believe that gives me enough experience to review it. So that's what we're going to do. Stay tuned and we'll jump right in. All five of the eyepieces that come in the Celestron 1.25 inch kit are of the Plossel design. And the Plossel design consists of two achromatic lens pairs, uh, so four lenses total. And the design makes it so you get a wider field of view than normal, but at the cost of having to get your eye closer to the eyepiece for that. So they're all Plossel. Um, it has its ups and downs, but that's basically what a Plossel eyepiece is. As with most eyepieces these days, the Celestron eyepieces come with rubber eye cups. So if you prefer to use these, you just fold them up and you can use those to view. Um, if not, obviously, they'll just stay down for you. So as I said earlier, this eyepiece set is pretty popular. A lot of amateur astronomers or those buying their first telescope will buy this set. And if anyone ever asks me, you know, should I get this for my first telescope? My answer usually is no, and I'm not a huge fan of this IP set. Uh, like I said, I've had it for about four years, and I've had extensive experience with it. And there's a lot of reasons why I don't like this set. Uh, there's a few reasons why I do like it, um, but there are quite a few reasons why I don't. The first is the, the eye relief on these eyepieces is pretty terrible. Uh, the six millimeter eyepiece it's just I mean you try and look through this thing at anything and you're gonna struggle if you wear glasses it'll almost be impossible to see out of the six millimeter eyepiece uh, plus I mean you're getting five eyepieces for about hundred and thirty dollars as of you know September 2015 so they're not gonna be the most quality things in the world either um, so really the only thing useful for the six millimeter eyepiece is to look at the moon to be honest and that goes for the eight millimeter eyepiece as well. Sure, you can try and look at some planets with them and things like that. Um, it's gonna be pretty hard to keep those centered in your field of view, um, depending on what kind of telescope you're using. But the eye relief on these eyepieces is very, very bad. Uh, so that's one big reason that I just, I can't recommend them. The 17 millimeter eyepiece is actually okay. Um, it's my second most used eyepiece out of the set behind the 32. The 13 millimeter is where the quality starts to get a little worse, uh, especially the quality of seeing. The 32 millimeter eyepiece is actually fantastic. Um, I actually really like this eyepiece. It's awesome for clusters, uh, star clusters, globular star clusters, open star clusters, anything that you really want to see wide field, uh, nebulae, um, look really good with a 32 millimeter eyepiece. And the Barlow lens actually gets harped on a lot, but I actually like the uh, the Barlow lens. Um, it it's really good with the 17 millimeter eyepiece because it doesn't change the eye relief. So you can actually double your magnification without changing your eye relief with the Barlow. So it works great with the 32 millimeter eyepiece as well. It will double that uh, magnification uh, to 16 millimeters about without changing the eye relief. So uh, in general, the, the 2X Barlow is pretty good, the 32 millimeter is good, and the 17 millimeter is good. The 13 millimeter, the 6 millimeter, and the 8 millimeter are pretty junky, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so I'm not sure if I could recommend that just because of those. But the thing that really gets me about the eyepiece kit is the filters. The filters um, are really I don't I don't know if you want to call it a selling point or what but lots of people don't use filters I'm one of them uh, the only filter I will use is a moon filter and that's the most important filter that there is um, because you don't want to damage your eyes when you're looking at the moon and it actually makes it a lot more contrasty but when you're say looking at Neptune which is barely even visible in your telescope and you have one of these filters that says uh, you know the deep yellow makes it so that you can see more detail. I just really don't get that kind of advertising because 
first of all, Neptune in a telescope that's smaller than about 14 inches is just going to appear like a tiny little disk. And number two, Neptune is a gas giant without a whole lot of visible cloud structures on its upper atmosphere, or in its upper atmosphere that is, so I don't really see how it could make you get that much more detail. So, I don't know, it's kind of hit or miss with the filters. I've used them before, but it, it really doesn't change a whole lot. They do um, give you a whole manual with this set that explains what each filter does. Um, so like, for example, uh, deep number 12, deep yellow, uh, Jupiter, penetrate and darken atmospheric currents containing low hue blue tones. If you're going to be doing that kind of thing, that's great, but I mean, like I said, you can't see a ton of difference sometimes. So just the overall quality of the eyepieces is not the best. The eye relief is very, very poor though on those three, the 6mm, the 8mm, and the 13mm eyepiece. Recommended those, the 32mm eyepiece, the 17mm eyepiece, and the 2x Barlow lens, and a moon filter. Does all that cost you $130? Normally, I'd say not. You can find some pretty good deals on some things. But one good thing about the kit that I do really enjoy is the case. It's really, really solid on the outside, and it comes with locks, so if you want to lock it, you can. And then on the inside, you have really good foam for, to protect all of your eyepieces. So this is actually a really... One of the best parts of the whole kit, I think, is just the box it comes with. Uh, what's great, too, is you have some retail here. I went ahead and cut out my own eyepiece slot, so I could put my own eyepiece in there if I want to. And then there's also a little rectangle over here, so if you want to put things like laser pointers um, in here, you can do that as well. So that's a, one really nice thing about the eyepiece kit is it just comes with a really, really nice case. And the foam is definitely gonna protect your eyepieces. You don't have to worry about them. Um, the filters have a little spot here as well. And then you just have your six eyepieces. And then like I said, you can um, make some more on your own if you'd like to, and that's what I've decided to do. So that definitely scores some good marks there. Uh, it definitely is very, very solid and definitely protects the eyepieces. The kit does come with six planetary filters and a moon filter. I use the moon filter by far the most. Um, I never really used the, the planetary filters. Uh, from left to right, those are the number 80A blue, the number 58 green, the number 56 light green, the number 25 red, the number 21 orange, and the number 12 deep yellow. They're advertised as doing different things and showing different planetary features. I never really found those to work that well. And another reason I don't like the planetary filters is because they cut out some of the light. And in astronomy, telescopes are all about your light gathering power. Planets, yeah, of course, they're going to be brighter and you won't need as much light, but uh, the filters do cut out a good amount of that light. Um, some, you know, cut out 50%, some come out, cut out about 25%. Just depends on which filter you're using. But that light, I would rather see the light than cut it out and try and squint to find some object that's hard to find anyway. So I just think that the manual kind of hypes up the filters a little bit too much, but the moon filter is actually really, really good. The number one reason though that I would not recommend this eyepiece kit is when you're showing people that are really new to astronomy or someone that's at a star party, uh, say Jupiter or another planet or something neat, they look through the eyepiece and a lot of the times they can't even see the object because the eye relief is so poor. And I, I can't stress that enough. The eye relief is really, really bad. So it actually can kind of discourage someone saying, you know, they're really excited to look through the telescope and then, you know, sometimes they could probably go home and say, I found it was boring or whatever, and they kind of move away from any interest they had in the hobby at all. So that's why I am hesitant to take this to a star party now, just because the views aren't that stunning. I'll use the 32mm eyepiece, no problem, um, and I'll use the 17 in the Barlow lens, but anything below that I'm not going to use. So in essence, to me, those three eyepieces aren't worth buying the kit for, because they're three eyepieces that I never use. I mean, obviously some of you guys that do have the kit might use them and that's that's fine so 
Um, the eye relief is just really, really bad. The quality of the eyepieces is pretty good, and they seem pretty hefty and pretty solidly built, so that's good. The filters do come in a nice little case with that as well. Uh, so what would I recommend instead? I would recommend getting a pretty good Barlow lens. Um, Teleview makes an, a nice 1.25 inch 2x Barlow lens that aren't very pricey. And then I'd just recommend getting um, some Orion Expanse eyepieces. They're 1.25 inch, but they are much better quality than these eyepieces. They're a little bit pricier, but if you just buy two of them in the focal length that you know you enjoy, uh, it's better than just buying a whole kit with eyepieces that you're not going to use. So, a lot of people will say, you know, buy a kit and then you can use each eyepiece and see what millimeter of eyepiece you like to observe at. That's totally fine. If you want to do that, I go for it. That's no better way to do it than buying a pretty cheap eyepiece kit to do that. But if you already know what you like looking at, so if you say you like looking at star clusters, open star clusters, um, anything wide field, you already know you kind of want a 32 millimeter, 25 millimeter, 40 millimeter eyepiece. You don't really need the lower ones. So I'd say instead of buying the kit, might as well just buy some nice 1.25 inch eyepieces, just one or two of them, and then you have some quality eyepieces that will last you a really long time and that you'll enjoy um, observing through and that will have number one, much better eye relief, but number two, the glass will just be better as well. So I do highly recommend Orion Expanse eyepieces. They're fantastic and they're not that expensive. And you know, if you know what millimeter you like to view at, that's perfect. Uh, so if you are on the fence about what you like, sure, go ahead and buy this. This isn't, you know, the worst eyepieces I've ever used in my life. I'm just saying that some of these, um, the advertising is just a little bad saying that, you know, you can get up to like 400 power and it it's just kind of frustrating because I think it leads people astray in that they're like, oh, I can look at 400 power, I'm gonna buy those right away just because I can get so close. Whereas the reality is it gets really blurry and it gets really hard to focus and any touching on the telescope will move it. And these eyepieces are not that great for that kind of thing at all anyway. So that's why I don't recommend the kit. I just feel like your money is better served buying a couple of eyepieces that you know are really quality and that you'll use a lot. And that, I mean, for what you're getting for $130 isn't the greatest thing you could be getting for your $130. Alright, well that's my review of the Celestron 1.25 inch eyepiece kit. It's a pretty solid kit. Uh, the case is especially solid. It's lasted four years without too many dings or scratches. I really like the 17mm and the 32mm eyepieces as well as the 2X Barlow. I just think that your money could be better spent elsewhere. Uh, the Orion Expanse eyepieces are really good eyepieces. Uh, Teleview Barlow is really quality. Yeah, you get a lot of uh, magnifications though with these eyepieces. So if that's your thing, if you want to buy this, go for it. You will get a lot of uh, a variety in eyepieces with different magnifications and you can kind of get a feel for what you like if you don't know already. Um, and you know, I think if you if you have your heart set on it, it's totally fine to, to go with. Um, and really all that matters, whether you're using a high-end eyepiece, a low-end eyepiece, is to get behind that telescope and look at the beauty of the cosmos. Um, whether you're just out for fun, whether you're learning something, just enjoy yourself. It uh, doesn't really matter what kind of eyepiece you're using as long as you're using your telescope. So that's my review. Um, thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys have a good one.